Hi guys, so in this video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-solve ng volume ng mga solid geometric figures gamit lang ang isang formula. So ano ba yung formula na sinasabi ko? So ito siya. So ang volume is equal to P of H over 6 times P of A1 plus A2 plus 4A sub M. So, i-discuss natin lahat ng elements ng formula natin. So, for example, meron tayo ditong say, frustum of a cone. So, galing lang siya sa cone, pero nahati yung uh, nasa gitna ng cone. So, meron tayong dalawang bases. So, ito, sa taas, and itong sa baba. So, ano yung height niya? So, ang height is the height of the figure. So, H. Then, yung A1, it's either yung nasa taas or nasa baba. So, yung base area. So, this is your A1 and this is your A2. So, ano naman yung A sub M? So, yung A sub M is yung area dito sa 1 half nung height. So, ito ay H over so, at 1 half of height. So, ito yung A sub M. So, i-prove natin siya guys kung applicable ba talaga siya sa lahat ng solid geometric figures. So, i-try natin sa, sa cylinder. For example guys, meron tayong cylinder. So, ang height niya, we have H. So, we have the radius. So, i-apply natin yung formula kanina. So, volume is equal to so, H, that is H over 6 times A1 plus A2 plus 4A sub M. So, here, yung A1 natin is, ito lang naman siya. Diba? So, this is R also. So, this is a cylinder. So, yung A1 natin, anong area ng A1? That is, circle lang siya. So, pi R squared. So, ang A1 natin is, pi r squared. So, yung eta natin, of course, pi r squared din siya. Then, yung mean area, which is the area at 1 half, hindi naman yung nagbabago kung cylinder. So, yung area natin dito, am, is also pi r squared. So, i-apply lang natin dun sa formula. So, volume, so, equals, you have h over 6, times, you have pi r squared plus pi r squared plus 4 times pi r squared. So, that is 4, 5, 6. So, 6 pi r squared. So, h over 6 times you have 6 pi r squared. So, ibig sabihin, ang volume ng cylinder is given by, so, v equals, so, pi R squared. So, yung 6 cancel na. So, pi R squared times height. So, kung i-check nyo, yung formula for cylinder, so, yun siya. Pi R squared times height. So, di ba ang volume? Di ba ang back to basic tayo? Ang volume, that is just equal to your base times height. Area ng base times height. So, i-try natin siya, let's say, sa, sa sphere. So, again, sold natin yung formula. So, that is V equals we have h over 6 times a1 plus a2 plus 4a sub m. So, let's say meron tayong sphere. So, sphere, let's say we have this. So, radius r. So, i-apply natin yung formula. So, ang volume is equal to h. So, yan yung h niya. So, yung h niya is just the diameter. So, this is your height. So, this is just your height, h. So, ang h is just equal to your diameter or 2 times radius. So, ang volume is equal to, we have height. Height is 2 times radius. So, 2r over 6. A1 natin is yung, let's say, bottom. So, ang bottom natin is just a point here. So, 0 yun. 
plus yung a to yung nasa taas so that is just also a point wala siyang area so zero din yun so plus 4 times yung mean area niya so yung mean area is just equal to we have pi r squared so e simplify natin yung nakuha natin or na derive natin formula so volume is equal to you have 2 over 6 so that is 1 third so r over 3 times you have 4 pi r squared so meaning ang volume ng sphere sphere is equal to you have 4 third pi r cube so yun we also derive the formula for sphere so pwede mo siyang gamitin kahit sa anong geometric figure so let's say gamitin natin siya sa cone so isulat ulit natin yung formula let's say v so itong formula na ginagamit natin is what we call the prismoidal formula let's say meron tayong cone so i-derive natin yung formula for cone gamit ang ating all-in-one formula so let's say meron tayong cone the height niya is h and radius r so ang hanapin lang natin dito is yung mean area so ang area niya at one half nung height h over 2 so by ratio in proportion pwede nating makuha or pwede nating masabi na yung radius niya at mean height is just equal to r over 2 okay so let's say uh, i-verify natin siya so r so let's say h of uh, h over r by ratio in proportion h over r is equal to so ito over r so parang triangle siya di ba parang ganito ang figure Similar triangle. So, this is your small r. Let's say r small. So, ito yung r na given. So, this is h over 2. So, this is h. So, let's say so h over r. You have h over r is equal to. You have h over 2. O, uh, over yung small r. So, meaning, yung small r, so cancel na yung h. You have this. So, r small over r is equal to 1 half. So, ang small radius at mean height is just equal to r over 2. Okay. So, r over 2 talaga yun. Binerify lang natin. Uh, derive natin yung formula ng cone gamit yung presmoidal formula. So, h over 6, so volume equals, so h over 6. So, yung a1 natin, bottom area, is pi r squared. Okay? Plus, top area. Ano yung top area natin? So, the top area is just a point there. So, meaning that is 0. So, plus, 4 times yung mean area natin. So, ang radius natin dito is r over 2. Kalahati ng bottom radius. So, 4 times we have pi r over 2 squared. Then, simplify natin. So, volume equals, so ito, this is so h over 6 times we have pi r squared plus 4 pi r squared over 4. So, volume equals to so h over 6 you have pi r squared plus so ito, 4 cancel na. So, pi r squared plus pi r squared. So, 2 pi r squared. So, meaning we have 2 over 6 that is 1 third. So, ang volume ng cone is equal to pi r squared times h all over 3. So, yun ang volume ng cone. So, yun ang mga examples natin. Kung i-verify nyo sa lahat ng geometric figure, pwede itong formula. So, it can save you more time in solving volume. So, isa lang yung memorize mo, pwede mo nang masolve lahat ng volume of geometric figures. So, answer tayo ng problem.